Hi friends, welcome to Knock Knock Startup. And today I will show you and I will tell you a government employer who is earning right now around 556 crores. And let's see how he did it. So he has started in UP with an outsourced manufacturer unit. Man Pasan Beverage is a today listed on the Indian Stock Exchange and have logged revenue of rupees 556 crore. As we as was typically of the middle class Indian family in the 90s, Varanasi resident Dharendra Singh was a government employee. While working in Vadodara, Vadodara, however, he was bitten by the entrepreneurial bug. Convinced there would always be demand for businesses related to food and beverages, he ventured into that space. So, in 1997, breaking family tradition and with no mentor or capital reserve, he started Manpasan Beverages with the initial capital made up of personal saving and financial help from family and friends. Dharendra started with a mango based fruit juice, mango sip. Fru given the fruit immense popularity, it was the obvious choice. So, the first day is what the, this person Dharendra did that mango pulp was easily available, and Dharendra thought packaging and selling it would not be difficult. In the initial days, they focused on staying local and targeted the market in and around Varanasi only. Coming up with a formula for a drink was one of the first thing to be done. And Dharendra soon learned he had have to cup up with rupees 10 to 20 lakhs for it. Abhishek, Dharendra's son, who joined Mampasan Beverage in 2013 after his engineering and is now director of the companies. We, he said that we did not have that kind of money. So my father asked an accusation, a food scientist to share a recipe needed for the mass production of mango drinks. He tried the recipe and sent it for tasting to friends and relatives. He received good feedback and positive feedback and decided to go with it. Starting with an old plant in Mumbai, to start off, they leased a part of an old plant from Mahendra dairy in Mumbai where mango sip was made and packed in 200 ml tetra packs to avoid competition with bigger brands and to make inroads they decide to sell their products in UP first. So also there was an interesting fact that my favorite observed, my father observed products with the made in Gujarat label were very highly regarded in UP. So our company registered in Gujarat after succeeding in UP Mango Sip was a steady expansion of distribution across India. We are currently present in over 20 states. We continue to outsource and build up capital. The Abhishek is, is online, the son of Mahinder. Targeting small towns work and within a few months the product took off. Abhishek say it was a bite Easier to start because bigger players like Fruity and Jumping had larger ignored Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, having crossed the market entry stage. Abhishek realized that they needed to expand their networks, for which it is imperative to build a strong team of distributors. Building networks, he focused on that and strengthened the ex exciting set of networks. So, during these initial years of Man Pasan, instead of bringing in management professional, Abhishek built a strong network of more than 2 lakhs retailer and around 2,000 distributors and over 200 super stock lists over 24 states. That's amazing, guys. Realizing, realizing that they had to compete with the bigger guys like Abhishek say, Man Pasan provided their product at the lower price point and in the wider range of packs. PET and Tetra Pack. Pet Pack and Tetra Pack. On a daily basis, we cost 10 of our distributor with the families at our own main plan, and this has definitely paid off in terms of winning the trust and business. Growing the presence. How they grow the presence? In 2005, they set up their first manufacturing plant in Vadodara, and in 2007, set up an additional line to produce Tetra Pack fruit drinks for Mango Sip. The team sourced Totapuri mangoes as the as they are twenty percent cheaper, twenty percent cheaper 
than other varieties and these mangoes from the base of all mango drinks these are grown in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Similarly, we source fruit pumps from reputed providers for fruit ups. The pulps typically have a shell life of two years prior to use and the entire production process is now complete in house in their five operational plants. The plant have both pet and tetra pack lines. Both fruit up and mango seed are manufactured in these plants in various sizes such as 100 ml, 200 ml, 500 ml and etc etc. Man person have now, now has five manufacturing facilities located in various parts of India. There are two units in Vadodara, the second of which commands production in April 2015, one in Varnasi and one each in Dehradun and Ambala set to production set production soon. The company has also announced the setting up of four new plants in two, by 2018. One of the plant for for M1 facility will be in Andhra Pradesh. The market and future plans, according to report by Technopack, within the beverage market, the fruit-based beverage category has seen a CAGR of close to 30% in a decade, currently valued at $200 million, $200 million. It is said to see a CAGR of 15% in the next three years. That's amazing, guys. Then report also notes the Dabur to be a market leader with close to 55% share of the total package juice market followed by PepsiCo and close to 30% of the market share. In 2011, SAIF partners picked a 25% stake in Manpasan. The team went for an IPO in 2015, raised capital by allocating 1000 equity share of an 8,99,000 CCPS to SPIL in 5 year FIL to final year of 2016 1% close net sales of rupees 55-56 crores today mango sip has a 10% market share in the mango drink segment and in the 4 most preferred mango drinks brand in India in the coming days, we are hopeful that it increases 22% since Abhishek all. Abhishek at this since the listing in the Indian stock action in 2015, they had adopted an aggressive expansion strategy. So where the main focus is penetration in the urban markets. We have been forming like alliance and various domestic and global companies to further this ambition. The company has tied up with the leading food and restaurant chains like Have More, Barista, Banks, Baskin Robbins, Metro Cash, and carry along with around 200 modern retail format stores in the advanced stocks for tie ups with the many multinational food chains and retailers. While we continue to the increase of significant presence in rural and semi rural market, we have also started aggressively tapping in the urban market. Wherever presence with minimal units recently with the setting up of new plants and are looking for double and current production capacity. So if you like our video, just subscribe, like and share.